Hello everyone and welcome to the second in our series of GG on Tour. We're here at the yard of Jack Barber talking about how it is to be a young man in the racing industry, his hopes for the future, his best horses, what it's like to be part of a racing dynasty and the ins and outs of a racing yard at this time of year. I've grown up in racing all my life. Um, obviously my, my granddad, um, he's always trained point to pointers. Um, and he had a satellite yard for Paul Nichols. Um, left school as soon as I could at 16. Uh, I went to work for Paul Nichols. I was there for four years. And then I, as an amateur jockey, um, went freelance um, for, for a couple of seasons, just riding out for various trainers around. The, the height of me and, and my weight was sort of fed up of not eating properly and sort of knew it wasn't going to be my career. So thought I needed to do something that would get me going in life. Um, so started training with my first season, I ended up with about 12 point to pointers. Progress, progressed through that um, and then sort of it, it built every season. Uh, ended up being champion trainer for three years in a row. Um, I was pestered, like a lot, of, a lot of people saying, when are you taking your license out? When are you taking your license out? And I felt when I did was the, the time to do it. Um, so, so and then this is our third season now and, and here we are now. When, when I was at school, um, when I was sort of younger, I probably, I probably told everyone I wanted to be a jockey. And, and if he wasn't doing what he was doing, I'd have probably said I want to be a farmer, if you see what I mean. So he was a big, big influence in my life. When I was small, I was going point to pointing every weekend. Um, and then at the, at the age when they first brought out the pony racing, um, I, I did that. Um, it's a bit different now when I first did it. I think I did it on my hunting pony and I think that's what everyone was doing and then slowly it's got more and more competitive. I think now if, you, if you're on a hunting pony, you probably get lapped twice. Um, they seem to be sort of mini thoroughbreds um, doing it, but I think the pony racing is a really good sort of asset for the, for the racing world, not just, just making jockeys as well, but also sort of getting young people into racing who then want to work in racing. Um, I think it's a really good asset to, to get people to hook. This is Le Mans de Bellamy. Um, he ran in two bumpers for us last year, finishing uh, fourth and fifth. Um, he's, a, he's a really nice one for the future. Um, he's been doing all his jumping really well this year. He's taken to it really naturally. We, we'd be really excited and, and looking forward to, to seeing him run. He's just improved and from, from a horse last year to this year, he's bigger, he's stronger um, and he's a lovely horse for the future. This is a star, um, he's a, only a three-year-old, he's by presenting. Um, I bought him from the Land Rover sale um, in June. Um, he'd, be, he'd be a nice horse for the future. His aim would be sort of April time to run in a bumper, um, but equally he might, might not make it and he'll have to wait till the next season. Um, but he'd certainly be a, be a nice one to, to keep an eye out for in, in the future. Um, this is Shintori. Um, He's one of the well-known horses probably from my yard. He's one of those horses that, that can make a jockey look an absolute hero when he drops it on the line. Um, but also maybe, maybe the other way if it doesn't go to plan. But uh, I know and a lot of people know now it's how he has to be ridden. If you get there too soon, he, he, he throws it away. Um, so he's, he's certainly one of the trickier rides for a race. Um, but no, he, he's done well for us and sort of going up through the ranks. A nice, nice number of horses and some nice quality of horses. Um, I think I, you know, the, the staffing industry is, is a very hard game. I think every racing yard in the in the country is probably looking for staff, and it, it's a hard game. So I prefer to have slightly less horses and a quality um, rather than end up with a big number um, and not such a good quality. Um, so I think it's just trying to get a nice, strong team. Um, I'm very lucky. I've got a very loyal bunch of staff that help me every day. You couldn't do it without them. Um, so um, I'm a very lucky chap. Well, I for a young, from a young age I always hunted and I've always been sort of around point to point and stuff so I just sort of went from there and went off to the racing school and then at 16 I first come here and then that's what set me up. I think the hours everyone works, I think you need to get up and love what you do in the morning and I think everyone does here so. Just seeing the young horses go and perform because you spend so much time getting them ready and then it's so nice to see them 
go and fulfil what they need to do. Did you ever have plans to be a jockey? Originally, yeah, but then I thought of my size, my weight, never, never really thought worked out for that, so that's why I decided to go into head roll. Um, I think Le Mans for Bellamy, he's one to watch, definitely. Um, he ran last year, ran really consistently in bumpers, and I think this year with a hurdle, I think he's one to watch. Uh, this is Roxy, um, she's my daughter's pony, um, but also she's, she's used for the younger horses when they're on their own going to the races. Um, she, she goes with them and trots into the stable yard like a champion. Uh, this is One Upmanship, uh, he's a four year old by Marla. Um, we bought him as a, a three year old um, and he sort of last year he didn't run, the ground went away from him. Uh, he's a lovely big, big strong horse, a chaser in the making by the, by the size of him. Um, he'll go for bumpers this season um, and then probably most probably go novice hurdling next season. Uh, so this is Flying Zara, um, she's one as I bought as a three year old um, and she didn't make it to the course last season um, just to, due to ground and she was on the weaker side. We gave her the time um, and she certainly produced it and it was worthwhile waiting. Um, she won her bumper, a mare's bumper first time out of Taunton a couple of weeks ago. Um, she, you know, she, she won it really impressively, sort of going away from, from the rest of them. Her plans would be probably to stay bumpering now this season. Um, and then I think she'll improve from a hurdle um, as well. She jumps well in the school, um, so she'd be one to look out for. We're already on four winners um, this time, like at the minute, at present. Um, so we've got off to a really good start, having our first four winter runners and two of them won. Uh, one has finished third and the other one finishing fifth. Um, so I, I couldn't be happier with the start we've had, you know.